sometimes after we've sta- after we're standing, I want you to appreciate. Today is Tuesday. The difficulty may not have passed, but hear what? Now you're recognizing you may really have nowhere else to run or to. Some situations in our lives push us into a corner. We're standing, yes, but while we're looking for a place to escape where we can get out of it, we can't find any. There is no place to run. Think about Daniel in the dead. There is no place to run. Think about the Hebrew boys in the furnace. There's absolutely no place to run. Sometimes we're standing in the midst of God's keeping power and still looking for an escape. I want to encourage you this morning. He is able to provide a way of escape, not so that you might escape, but that you might bear up under it when you have no place to escape. Not only are we asking you to stand this morning, we're actually saying to you, God is helping you bear the burden. You're not in that. You're not in this alone. Could I be an encouragement to you? We all have places and spaces and things that we we would rather not face. Sometimes the diagnosis, the dilemma, the concern, the children, the grandchildren, the spouse, they're making it as if if you had an opportunity, you would run. But here what? You're not called to run. You're not called to run. And even when there is no place to run, you could stand. You could bear up under it. I believe in God with you that today, even though the race may be a marathon for you, that today is not the day you run from God or you run into something easier. I pray that you stand your ground and let God be glorified.